Hi, I'm Seraphine from Bite Size Delights. Today it's going to be another really simple recipe, a beetroot and feta tatata. It's so simple because we're using French beetroots that have already been cooked and vacuum packed to seal in their deliciousness. The ingredients we need are one packet of cooked beetroot that has been sliced up, one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, one tablespoon of brown sugar, salt and pepper to taste, one sheet of puff pastry, and crumbled feta cheese for later. Before you start, make sure you preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Then to your sliced beetroot, you need to add your balsamic vinegar, brown sugar, and salt and pepper to taste. Give your beetroot a good toss, making sure that they're coated with all the ingredients. Then you take a oven proof, an oven proof dish and transfer all the beetroot in and put it in an even layer at the bottom of the dish. I brushed the oven dish with olive oil so that it's easier for the puff pastry to come out later. Now that I have my beetroot in an even layer without any holes in between in my oven dish, I'm going to take the puff pastry and gently place it over and then I'm going to tuck in the edges to make sure that none of the beetroot juices come out during the baking process. So you don't have to worry about it being really neat. Sometimes um, when it's a little crumpled up, uh, it looks quite rustic. Our tart is ready to go into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes until the puff pastry is golden brown. Our tart has just come out of the oven and as you can see, the puff pastry is lovely and golden brown. We're going to let it cool for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we're going to flip it over. The tart has been flipped over and as you can see, the beetroot is a delicious burgundy colour. It's so inviting. Now while the tart is still warm, you can crumble the feta cheese over and the residual heat from the tart is going to lightly melt the cheese. Beetroot and feta tart tart. -ta. If you'd like a salad to go with it, why not scroll through our Facebook page for ideas? Stay tuned because there'll be new recipes coming to you soon.